I'm here to meet an extremely talented woman. Not only is she a singer, but she's also a songwriter. Her name, Tanya Lacey. So thank you very much for joining us today, Tanya. You're thank looking you. fabulous. I'm Thanks loving very this. Thank you much. You too. All thank the colour. Well, All the colour <laughs> in the world. <laughs> so after that rather girly introduction, let's jump yeah. straight into it. Okay. So you co-wrote a song for, yeah. that was a hit for Will I Am. Yeah. What was first of all? What was that like when that song went went to him in a way? Like, how does it even work? With it, with that song, a lot of people didn't realise that. Well, a lot of people didn't realise until the show, The Boys, that um, that you can write for artists that you've never met before. Mm. And so that that came about from a writing session that I had in Atlanta. It was originally a song that I was writing for my project, and the label that I was with at the time didn't really see much in it. And so it was a shelved idea that Will I Am then heard a few months later and decided to work on it himself. So what made you want to go on to voice? Um, do you know what I took? I'd been doing music independently for about six or seven years prior to going on the voice, and I'd taken some time out because I just kind of didn't know whether or not I still wanted to pursue music. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I was teaching songwriting to young people, and then during that time, the opportunity to go on the voice came around, and I just thought. Let me just do it, just to prove that I've still got what it takes to get on stage. So you're an artist and a songwriter. Yeah. Is one or the other more stressful? I think um, they're both definitely equal in terms of level of stress. Yeah. I think a lot of people don't realise as a songwriter, um, you don't get paid until your music gets out there. Yeah. And if it's not you getting your music out there and you're, getting, you're relying on cuts, which is industry term for other artists singing your songs, then you don't get paid. So you know, travelling to the studio, all of the time that's that's needed to have these studio sessions, yeah. to try and fit them around your working life if you've got bills to pay, which most of us do. That's really stressful. Content, it's, everything's about content at the moment. So I think, yeah, they're both very stressful in, in slightly different ways. No, definitely. So in the music industry, in the big jobs, there doesn't seem to be many many women. I remember when there was a female boss of a label yeah. and um, I remember the whispers from various people in the industry that this, this particular woman wasn't going to do a great job. So even when you do land wow. the big roles, it's just like the critters are just like... <laughs> What's coming up? Where are you going? What's coming up? Yeah. My EP that I feel like I've been working on since being in the womb is going to be coming <laughs> Talent. Out. That's a talent. Definitely. Um, that's going to be coming out this year. Mm -hmm. Finally, I'm so excited about that. I've been working with some really cool producers. Do you have a name? Not for the EP just yet. No, right. no. Good luck with everything. Thank you so much. And uh, yes, thanks very much for being here. Cheers. Cheers.